Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Mm. <coughs> Today I'm going to fry some noodles. I have some yellow noodles here. Uh, many people ask me whether yellow noodles you need to pre-cook it or soak it under water or not, or do we have to uh, wash it? No. Actually, uh, when you boil it, uh, it will come with a very thin layer of um, oil. Yeah, within uh, among the noodles, and uh, you should actually uh, fry it straight away. Okay. Um, I have some Chinese cabbage here, some carrot. By the way, you can use any kind of veggie you like. Cut them into uh, shreds. Yeah, and some garlic. Okay, and uh, today we will need. I'm going to prepare a broth for it. I'm going to use my prawn broth. I have some. Uh, uh, last time when I used to peel off my prawns, the shell, yeah, I keep all the shelf into the freezer. Uh, after I defrost the shelf, I'm going to use the shell, prawn shell to make prawn broth to cook my noodles. Actually, uh, actually this way you are going to flavor with your noodles very um, nicely. Okay, so let's make the prawn uh, broth first. Okay, so put some oil into cold water, then only raise the heat. By doing this way, uh, you reduce the sticking problem on your standard steel wok. Okay. Um, after that, you can put in some ginger, sliced ginger. Fry for a while. Let your oil to be induced by the ginger aroma, which it will help to remove the uh, smelliness from the prawn shell. Okay. Right, be careful when you want to put in your prawn because uh, of the water, especially inside the prawn eyes. So um, be very careful and it will splatter, all right? Basically, you don't have to flavor your broth. All you need is to use high heat. to cook your prawn shell until it is um, reddish yeah? don't add your water too early you need to make sure it is 100% cooked if you add in your, your water too early then the smelliness of the prawn, prawn uh, shell can also uh, be uh, dissolved into your broth okay? so don't worry uh, it will not burn so e too easily. You just uh, keep on stirring like this, and let it let it uh, stir for a couple of minutes. All right, ready? Uh, fry for a couple of minutes. Then only you put in the broth. I'm getting some hot water here. It's always better to use hot water because you don't want to reduce the temperature of your wok. Okay, always remember, we want to make sure all the prawns head, especially the head, yeah, is fully cooked. Then only we add in the hot water. Wow, now you start smelling the very nice fragrance coming out from the shell. If you want to make some prawn oil, also can, just add in more oil. You can use the prawn oil to flavor your dish as well, okay? Today I'm just going to use the uh, prawn broth. Okay, it should be fully cooked by now. Let me add in my hot water. Immediately my broth turned yellowish and orangey, you see? This is going to be a very nice broth. Whatever you use it to cook uh, noodles or your ho fan, all that is going to taste very good. It will even taste even nicer if you put in uh, pork broth or chicken stock rather than just plain water. Use your creativity. There's no rule in Appa's kitchen, alright? So I'm going to just let this boil for three, uh, maybe two, three minutes, and then it is done. I'm going to remove it after that. You don't have to flavor it, and the pork broth, uh, the prawn broth is ready. All right, 
So after you drain off all the prawns, so here is the beautiful orangey and flavorful prawn broth. All right, I hope you like this video. Yeah, let's continue with my noodles. Okay, get ready some oil in your pot. Make it very hot. Uh, let's saute. The carrot. Certain ingredient you actually need to saute it uh, using oil. Then only the flavor will really come from. Carrot is one of them. Uh, if you use shiitake mushroom, then that is another one. Okay. okay I'm going to push this to the side. Garlic Shift to the side Give it some oil I'm going to add my egg Okay, so the, this extra oil here is for the egg. I'm going to break the egg. Put the carrot over. Okay, fry them out. Some people ask me why I like to use stainless steel because you can do this. If you are using a non-stick, you can't do that. Yeah, scratching the bottom. Okay, uh, now I'm going to add in Chinese cabbage. It may look a lot, but it will shrink eventually. I'm going to show you one way how to make sure your noodle will taste very good and very uh, be fried very evenly. Okay. Okay. Nicely flavored. Next thing. Remember our our prawn broth. You can also use chicken stock or you can also use uh, pork stock. Up to you. I'm still on high heat here and let's do the seasoning before I throw in the noodles Let me get some oyster sauce Okay A little light soy sauce Alright A little bit of fish sauce Okay I'm still thinking whether I want to make it black color or not. If you want to make it black color, just add uh, dark soy sauce, okay? I'm still thinking because my wife doesn't like black noodle, but my daughter likes black noodle. So very difficult to decide. I just put some salt just now, followed by some sugar. And not forgetting a few dash of white pepper. Let's give it a good stir. Very nice. 
Okay? Season your broth before you put in the noodles. Okay, and you want to give it a bit of broth here so that it can um, cover your noodles nicely. Let, uh, let it to be uh, absorbed by your noodles. Now when everything is ready, we can put in the noodles. Like I said, I haven't decided whether I want to put in the duck sauce or not. <laughs> let me decide that shortly. Okay, I'm still on high heat. Now you just want to stir it nicely. Let me put some duck, <laughs> duck soya sauce. I think my daughter will like it. Oh, by the way, my daughter only two and a half years old. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make it duck today. This is home cooking, there's no rule, right? Eh? Use your creativity and uh, decide yourself how you want to cook your dish. Yeah. Okay, you want it to be a bit juicy. You can still see some of the broth because you need it to cook your noodles. Make sure it is nicely mixed. Alright, fried noodles is so much easier than frying bihun. But uh, I did uh, teach a lot of my followers how not to break your bihun, yeah? I have few videos and those are the top videos in my channel. Okay, I'm just going to um, let it... Uh, where's my lid? I just want to let it cover with a lid. And... Let it simmer for a minute or two. We'll come back, uh, do some final seasoning, then it is done. Okay, this is after simmering for about an, uh, a minute or and a half. Okay, you don't want to cook your noodle for too long. It will still break, yeah? Hmm, I have a little bit char at the bottom. It's okay. So maybe you let it simmer for one minute is enough, okay? Because it was on high heat. You can actually, I should have uh, turned the heat a little bit down. But it is not burnt, just a little bit char at the bottom. Nice. Alright, it's done. So I'm going to add in some uh, fried onion. Off the fire. Give it a final few stir and it is done. Beautiful black stir fry noodle, my two year old daughter's favorite. All right, so here's my stir fry uh, noodles, black color. Give some few splash of uh, white pepper. So. Uh, hope you like my video. If you like my video, share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.